I tried touch bright and clear cream, and here is what happened. This is an updated review, by the way. So if you are here for the pros and cons of this touch bright and clear cream, I'm going to be giving you all of the details in this video. So if this sounds like what you're here for, don't forget to hit the like button and let's go so after making that review if you have not seen that video here's a link right here after making that review i discontinued using those products why because i had other tyrosinase inhibitors in my routine i had other products that were stacking in my dark spots so i decided to give this a break and because that one was expiring soon i focused on that so I had clear skin, my skin was given until recently my skin started acting up again. As you can see, I have an active pimples right here and I also have lots of dark spots now from hormonal imbalance. So my skin is currently going through it right now. So, so I picked up this product again to try to see what is going to happen to all my dark spots and how fast it's going to change. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about after several months of opening this product is the texture in the first video i showed you guys what the texture was looking like but right now this product acts oxidized so it's currently like a golden brown color now it's not as yellow as it used to be it's even i hope the camera is doing justice so this is what the texture is currently looking like so if your touch bright and clear cream is currently looking like this let me just put it out there that you can still use it I was also confused until I asked dermatologists and estheticians in my community and they said it is still useful, it is still functional, it only just oxidizes. So if your touch bright and clear cream is looking like this, you are good to go, you can still use it. It does not lessen the function or anything like that. And also this product, I am not completely thrown off by the smell boys. It isn't like a pleasant smell as well. One thing that I liked about this product was the fact that it, the PA hole is 12 months. Another that sports product that I was using had a PA hole of 9 months and this one had 12 months. And that is why I was able to abandon it for a long time before picking it up again. If it was other products, the PA hole would have made it useless right now. So this product is still good to go. So one thing I've noticed from picking up this product now, I've been consistently using this product for the past two weeks now. And let me tell you, if you are not consistent with this product, you are not going to see results. Yes, I said it. So you need to work your way up to when your skin is able to tolerate daily usage of this product. I currently use this product daily now, and I have noticed such huge difference. My dark spot used to be so darker than this because my skin is still currently going through it right now. My hormone is everywhere, so my hormone is imbalanced. I still have active acne. And the dark spot around my mouth was way darker than this. I wish I could show you guys evidence. I will check through my phone and see. But right now, it is looking way brighter. And it also helped brighten my overall skin because I've been using it all over my face. I've not been using it as a spot treatment. No, don't use it as a spot treatment. That is going to give you minimal results. So best is you use it all over your face. So don't worry, your skin is not going to go to a three shades like that. What this product is going to do is to tackle where the dark spot and hyperpigmentation is and fade it. As you can see, none of my face is brighter than the other. Your face is not going to be two or three shades different. So if you want even tone, you want to clear your dark spot, you want something that is affordable, you can get this touch by Tampere cream. I completely recommend. And also, this product contains not just one product that tackles hyperpigmentation, but a lot of them. The first one it contains is azelaic acid. And you guys know my stance about azelaic acid. It is one of my favorite ingredients. It also contains kojic acid, which is like my number one and my top two and is not number two. It also contains niacinamide, it contains shanitamic acid, and that is my favorite ingredient in the whole world. It also contains other ingredients that tackles hyperpigmentation, but those are like the top five that it contains that is going to completely help you tackle your hyperpigmentation. So how do you use this product? How do you incorporate this product in my routine? So the way I like to incorporate this product into my routine is... 
firstly, after cleansing my face with a non-acid cleanser or an acid cleanser, depending on your choice, I use my essence. You can decide to use your toner or essence or just use both depending on what you like. Ensure that your face is completely dry, like it's not damp. Use your serum. Make sure that your face is not damp when you are applying this product. It is best to use this product on dry skin. So allow that you ensure that you allow your serum to to dry up. So let it sit on your face for like five minutes, then go ahead and use this product. So it depends on your skin type. Sometimes I don't follow up with the moisturizer and sometimes I do. So if you have dry skin, I would advise that you follow up with the moisturizer after using this cream so that it does not dry out your skin because sometimes it can throw off your skin barrier. So follow up with the moisturizer and during the day, please ensure that you are wearing sunscreen because in the packaging, it is already stated that sunburn alert, if you are not consistent with your sunscreen while using this product, you are prone to photosensitivity, which is going to be like pouring water in the basket because what's the point of using a dark spot corrector hyperpigmentation treatment and not using sunscreen because your skin is going to go like five to ten shades dark <laughs> and i'm not even kidding so this price this product is currently retailing for 20 to 22 000 in naira and in dollar i'm assuming conversion rate i'll try to put how much that is in the dollar on the screen so if you are looking to get this product, I completely recommend. This is what I'm currently using in my routine to tackle my hyperpigmentation. And it's the only hyperpigmentation product in my routine right now. All other products I have is just hydrating products. So you will see that my skin is clear tomorrow in two or three videos from now. Just know that it is a touch bright and clear cream. And please, let me just put it out there that... Of course, you are going to start seeing results from like two weeks, which is what I am currently seeing. But for you to get effective results, you are going to have to wait for like eight to ten weeks. So this is not a seven days lightning cream. This is not a two days, two weeks lightning cream. You are going to only see visible, visible, visible results in eight to ten weeks. But you are going to see noticeable results in Two weeks, three weeks, we are going to notice that your hyperpigmentation is gradually fading. So I hope that helps. This is an updated review of the try of the Torch Bright and Clear Cream. And see you guys in my next video.